Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny the Geek here, and today I'm going to be doing a couple of follow-ups. Uh, first is going to be how to update your Hackintosh, and second is the uh, choosing the best parts or getting uh, information about building the uh, Hackintosh. Alright, so uh, the first thing you got to do, um, and this is based off of the uh, Hackintoshes that I build using the Tony Max x86 project websites. Uh, so I've been using the iBoot that's been working out really well and the uh, multi beast uh, that's also been working out pretty well and so uh, a lot of people have been asking me about uh, updating and so this is the process that I usually go through uh, to update All right so first I got to go to the uh, support um, section uh, from Apple and what I'll do is that I'll look for the uh, the OS X uh, update combo Right, so the latest combo is 10.6.6. .6. They just recently released the .6 uh, version. And so uh, basically a lot of people will usually go through the uh, software update up at the top here. But uh, although that is, you know, you could do that, I typically like to just use the uh, combo update. And that's pretty much what Tony Max X website uh, also suggests you doing. Now, the reason why uh, it's called an update combo is because it's a combo that fills in everything from 10.6.0 all the way up to 10.6.6. .6. So this file here, here, it's a really big file. It's a 1.6 or 1.06 gigabyte, gigabit, gigabyte file, and uh, it's a large download, right? But that's because it contains all of the updates from 10. 6.0 to 10.6.1 so there's one two three four five six all of the updates all in there and uh, so you would use this also say for example you have 10.6.2 right and you want to go all the way up to 10.6.6 so by downloading the combo update what it does is it fills in for everything from 2 all the way to 6 for you because you can't just uh, go from 2 to 6 without having 3, 4, and 5. Um, now, uh, theoretically, you could also, or not theoretically, but uh, an alternative, you could also download, for whatever re reason, if you wanted to just go up to 10.6.4. So then you would download uh, either the 10.6.4 combo update, or you would download 10... Uh, 6.3 and 10.6.4 the individual updates and then install one after the other that's a little uh, time consuming and tedious and inconvenient so that's why they have the uh, update combos um, and uh, downloading the latest one is is uh, the way that I usually go I mean it's a gig yeah um, if you're worried about bandwidth and, and you're going from 10.6.5 to 10.6.6, .6, then by all means, just download uh, the single uh, update. And typically, they're around two or 300 megabytes um, for just the individual updates. All right. So um, when you update your Hackintosh, what's going to happen is that you're pretty much going to lose your Hackintosh abilities, your... Uh, Kex files, all that stuff. Uh, so you have to rehack your Hackintosh by running the iBoot, right? So let's say, for example, that I ran this update here. And uh, I'll go ahead and actually update because I'm actually on 10.6.5. So I'll run this and I'm going to require a restart. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this by recording at the same time but I'll just go through it right and I'm gonna update so this is gonna go through its process it's gonna require a restart so when you restart you have to put in your iBoot disk and download the latest iBoot disk um, and also when you update, uh, when you do the restart and you put in the iBoot disk, you're going to have to rerun MultiBeast. 
right? And so what you should do is download the latest multi-beast. So don't expect to be updating your Mac OS, right? So I got 10.6.6 .6 update here and using an old multi-beast. Some things will work, but more than likely things won't work. Typically, there's going to be a, a new multi-beast that comes out when a new Mac update comes out, right? So when I originally set up this Hackintosh, I was using multi-beast 2.6 something, right? And uh, since this new update came out, a new version of multi-beast came out, and more than likely it's going to have uh, the proper updates to patch your 10.6.6. Uh, although I think this is good enough to patch uh, 10.6.5 and above. Um, so look for the latest version of the Multi-Beast. And again, when you're setting up Multi-Beast, what you're going to do is you have to reselect your custom installs, right? So you have to redo Easy Easy Beast, um, everything that I showed you in the previous videos. You also have to do click on the system utility. That's automatic, pretty much for almost everyone. So there's drivers and bootloaders, and so here are the kex files and enablers that you got to go through. And you have to re even though you have this Hackintosh, right? And you've already gone through this and you've already set it up. Even though you've done that. Because you're updating, it's going to wipe it all out. So you need to redo it again. Right? So you have to select your proper hardware here. And you have to go through and you have to, if you've done the NV enabler for your NVIDIA graphics or whatever, you have to do that again. For the bootloaders, you have to do the bootloaders again if you've done that. Uh, customization all of this stuff you have to do it again and for whatever reason if it didn't work if something didn't work right and you had to reboot your uh, system and go back into multi-beast you have to do it all over again right so every time you are gonna run multi-beast or you're gonna set up something or install a new piece of hardware and and uh, you want to run multi-beast on it to get the thing working you have to select all of these settings again, right? So you have to do, even though if you just put in a new graphics card or whatever, you have to still s select the uh, audio drivers and the bootloaders and the customizations. You have to do it all over again. Um, and that's just what you got to do uh, to run uh, the multi-beast, right? So that's what you typically got to do. And then you hit continue, and then it's going to restart again, and you won't require the iBoot disk anymore because it applies that to your booting hard drive. Alright, so um, that is the gist of updating, how to update, and also uh, running multi-beast again. And so I also get a lot of questions about how to tell what audio drivers or whatever that you have the best way I like to go about it is going to Newegg.com alright so uh, once you get to Newegg what you're gonna do is you're gonna like look up the motherboard manufacturer that you have so let's say for example I've got the Gigabyte I don't know uh, X58 chipset Right, so you, let's say, for example, you have this motherboard here. And uh, this is pretty much like this on uh, throughout their whole site. And they carry pretty much almost every motherboard, actually uh, every Hackintosh uh, type of motherboard here. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Details. And this has uh, pretty much a, a good information about what type of hardware your particular motherboard has so for example the audio audio chipset that your this motherboard is using is the Realtek ALC8889 right and the uh, onboard LAN 
is the Realtek 8100E. And uh, so those are a couple of things that you can go by. Um, the chipset, it's X58, that's pretty much, uh, we already know that. And also, uh, some of the uh, uh, Marvell chipset, SATA 3 storage, is also in here, and USB, um, NEC Super Speed USB 3. That's some information to know, uh, good to know about, right? And so that's just one of the examples. Okay, so uh, moving on to um, choosing the best hardware or checking to see if the hardware you have is compatible. Uh, the last video I made uh, was for hardware that's a little bit outdated now. It's the Socket 775, the uh, hardware compatibility compatibility list on Wikipedia. It's a little bit a uh, little bit long in the tooth. It's uh, old hardware which is still fine if that's the hardware that you got but a lot of people are getting newer hardware now so what I usually like to go to is the Tony Mac x86 uh, wiki right so we can go to the main page here and so here's the wiki and this is pretty much a good start um, as to where you uh, uh, want to go to get uh, your hardware, your compatibility list. There's feature pages right here. This is a really good area to see uh, how to do and how to learn uh, about uh, the different components to building your Hackintosh, like the, the latest 10.6.6 update. It gives you information about that. Uh, enabling audio chipsets. A lot of people have problems with that. Uh, theme, theming your bootloader, multi-boot systems so that you could have uh, uh, Windows and Linux and stuff like that running on there. But then there's uh, the Hackintosh Basics. This is a good place to get started at, right? And also uh, the Tony Max x86 software, and it gives an explanation of what all that stuff is. Uh, the hardware and uh, chipsets, that's pretty much what I usually go through. So here are the basics, and it talks about like what BIOS is, the the DSDT and the EFI and the iBoot Multi Beast, how all that works. Um, and then for the software, these are the software that they offer and explanation of what it is. And then also uh, the CPU database. This is basically the list of hardware that's compatible. Right, so we can look at the CPU database here. These are all the CPUs um, that's compatible. Um, all the cores, all the Intel Core 2s, and then here's a list of the i3, i5, i7s processors. Oh, I guess uh, the supported is uh, the question mark here show, tells you that it's, uh, it might be, or they don't know. So here's a list of the graphics cards. The Intel uh, and the uh, hybrid ones, the integrated graphics, graphics by ATI, and the manufacturer who makes it, and the specific card if you've got that, and then NVIDIA. And then it tells you a little bit about the method that was used to get the card working and uh, how it works exactly and some issues and whatnot. So that's a good uh, database to check. The motherboard, these are the compatible motherboards. These are pretty important. Um, the, let's say the uh, X58 and the P55 chipsets are probably the more higher performance ones. Um, typically the P55s are the uh, Core i5s, socket 1156 motherboards. If you have that or you want to go towards that direction and the X58s are going to be like the Core i7s, uh, 1366, so the perform high performance uh, motherboards. And then it tells you the uh, audio codecs that it's using. This is another method of checking. And the Ethernet codecs. Typically video, audio, and Ethernet are the important factors to get working. 
and uh, Intel motherboards and MSI motherboards. MSI only got only got one X58 motherboard that works, but uh, for the most part, most of these boards are either H55s, P55s um, setups here, right? And then you got your optical disk drive database and your uh, chipsets, the audio chipsets that's compatible. You really, there really isn't that much you can do with this. And also, I like how they uh, they update their stuff and they tell you uh, what's supported. So that's a good thing that the they maintain this uh, pretty well because uh, six ten dot six dot five just came out not too long ago. All right, so there is my update, and uh, I have to restart this, but I have to get the uh, the iBoot disk, and I have to reapply my uh, multi B settings uh, once again. Uh, this is Giant Geek. Thanks for watching. Peace.